students today we are going to solve the third problem in relation to liquidate our final statement of account look at the board sum number three the following was the balance sheet of the company when it went into liquidation on 31st december 2005 this is the liquidation date as well as balance sheet date liabilities and assets authorized share capital subscribed share capital creditor there are three preferential creditor secured creditor unsecured creditor then bank order of bank order of considered as unsecured creditor then move to the asset side goodwill leasehold properties plant and machinery stock debtor cash and profit and loss account then move to the adjustment the liquidator realize the assets as follows the liquidator realize the assets as follows first one leasehold properties which was used in first instance to pay partly secured creditor rupees 22500 which means the leasehold properties valued realized value is 22500 so the new value of leasehold properties is 22500 which was secured with the secured creditor so which means um, on leasehold property company borrowed loan value rupees 25200 so leasehold property realized value 22500 on that company borrowed loan of rupees 22000 okay then plant and machinery stock debtor cash the expenses of liquidation amounting to 600 the liquidator remuneration was agreed at 2.5 percent on amount realized including cash very very important students liquidator remuneration was agreed at 2.5 two and a half percent is nothing but 2.5 percent on amount released amount released asset released both are same including cash and 5 percent on amount paid to unsecured creditor other than preferential creditor generally when we make payment to the preferential creditor we supposed to pay commission to the liquidator but here we need not to pay that okay you are required to prepare liquidator final statement of account i drawn format liquidator final statement of account debit side credit side debit side receipts cash receipts are recorded credit side cash payments are recorded now i am going to start first one debit side we'll start with the assets realized assets realized already i said from balance sheet we'll take cash so the cash value how much 300 cash 300 then we'll take other uh, values of other assets okay first one leasehold property which was secured with the secured creditor then because fixed charge created on the leasehold property so we have to write surplus from securities surplus from securities leasehold property valued at 22500 on leasehold property company borrowed loan which is called secured creditor value 25200 in this case the leasehold property value is lesser than secured creditor value so we are getting deficiency we are getting deficiency when we are making payment to the secured creditor this deficiency should be included in unsecured creditor we need not to record in the debit side then we move to the other assets then other one plant and machinery plant and machinery plant and machinery realized value 28000 then stock realized value stock realized value 43700 data realized value data realized value 32500 then cash already we recorded then we realized all assets we have to total the realized assets we have to total the realized asset so 300 28000 43700 plus 32500 so the total value of the realized asset 104500 First, we will pay for liquidator remuneration. Liquidator remuneration. First, you will get 
2.5 percent on asset realized including cash first we'll take assets realized including cash so we'll consider cash then we'll take leasehold property realized value plant and machinery stock and data for the calculation of liquidator remuneration so cash 300 leasehold property 22500 next one 28500 which is plant and machinery next stock 43700 then data are 32500 so the realized value of the asset is 127000 on that we should give 2.5 percent so multiplied by 2.5 percent you will get 3175 then the liquidator is entitled to 5 percent on payment of unsecured creditor unsecured creditor when we are making payment to unsecured creditor we will calculate commission then we have to pay for liquidation expenses liquidation expenses liquidation expenses given in the question the expenses of liquidation 600 rupees after that we should make payment to the debenture holder having floating charge in this question debenture holder is not given then we'll move to the preferential creditor preferential creditor preferential creditor value given in the question 7800 on payment of preferential creditor we need not to pay commission to liquidator because the problem says the liquidator remuneration was agreed at 2.5 percent on amount realized including cash and 5 percent amount paid to unsecured creditor other than preferential creditor because of that point i am not paying commission to liquidator on payment of amount to the preferential creditor then we should make payment to the unsecured creditor unsecured creditor unsecured creditor 66500 then I said bank overdraft also considered as unsecured creditor. Then deficiency on payment of secured creditor. How much? 2500. That is 2700. That is also considered to be unsecured creditor. So the total unsecured creditor value 66500 plus 2500 plus 2700. So the total unsecured creditor 71700. On that we should pay five percent on that we should pay five percent multiplied by five percent will get three thousand five hundred and eighty five so the total remuneration payable to liquidator will add these two plus three thousand one hundred and seventy five so total remuneration payable to liquidator six thousand seven hundred and sixty after payment of uh, unsecured creditor we should make payment to the prefer uh, preference shareholder in this question no preference shareholder will pay amount to the equity shareholder so balance available payable to equity shareholder balancing figure so the total assets realized 1 lakh 4500 minus 6760 minus 600 minus 7800 minus 71700 so the balance available is 17,640 payable to equity shareholder now we are paying 17,640 for 12,000 shareholder 17,640 payable to 12,000 shares so each shareholder will get 1 rupees 47 per share students we completed third problem in relation to liquidator final statement of account in next class we will solve different problem till then bye and thank you